Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be showing you guys my Brickmania collection. So in this collection, I have about 14, uh, yeah, 14 kits. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been collecting these for about five years as of now. I started collecting them in third grade, and my first ever, the first ever Brickmania uh, kit I got was the uh, M3 Stewart here. This is still a popular kit that they have, and they're always modifying it and always re-releasing re them. I'm pretty sure that they've made at least a thousand of them by now, so that's, I think this might be their most common kit that they have ever made, and I really love it. Uh, the machine gun, this isn't the original one. Uh, I kind of like kept losing uh, like box mags uh, everywhere, and I was using that in my with my Pacific figures. So I just like uh, got a black one, and I put some. Um, I guess like what's it called? Uh, I just showed like you know it has some use put onto it. I made like some rust, kind of that kind of effect. I painted the handle. Um, I thought that was going to give it a cool effect, which it did, and I like it. So let's uh, start off uh, going left to right. So this is the most recent kit I've gotten. This is the Chiha. Um, it was about $230, I think. I, it's been a while. Um, I really do suggest this kit. I loved it. If you are a Brickmania Elite member, you will have $23 or like the $24 off. So that's cool. And um, so it is camo. It's got a minifigure come with, with it, printed by Brickmania. And... Uh, just to show you guys really quick, the printing on it is really good. I like it. This is as this is like the same quality as Lego and Citizen Brick. It's a really nice figure. Uh, sadly, the like it is yellow, uh, like you know, uh, like the color of the minifigure. So I can't really um, use it with my other uh, figs. Like I could switch out the uh, like you know for flesh hands, but I think that kind of like you know ruins like the hand sockets and that stuff. So yeah, um, moving on, we have my, my other mo most recent one. This one I got last year for Christmas. It's a small one. This is the uh, Kettengrad, and it comes with this little uh, little uh, anti-tank gun. So that's cool. I also got a water trailer from a few years ago. I think that was two years ago. Um, this is one of my other old ones. This is the SAS Jeep, uh, one of their smaller kits. Um, it was about eighty dollars when I got it. I don't know why I bought it at that, uh, like you know that cost. But it did come with a few minifigures, and those figures, like um, since they were like uh, not like the torsos and stuff weren't rare at the time, I just took them out and I brassed them off. And those torsos and stuff are now in my Japanese army. I don't know if I should have, uh, like, you know, brassed them off, but I don't care anymore. It's, I really don't do, um, like, you know, that much desert stuff, but it is a cool, it is a cool kit. It's missing the browning, because I'm pretty sure that browning is the same one that was on, on top of my Stuart, but I can buy another one if I need it. So then here we have the Type, the Type 95 kit. Um, I think I got this about, it might have been a year and a half ago or something like that. It is one of the newest kits I got. Um, I really do like this kit. This is just a really cool tank. The turret, the turret. It's hard to do a Type 95 turret, and I think Brickmania did it well enough uh, so that, like, you know, you can tell a tank it is. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a really cool kit. I love it. The camo scheme on it is good, just like the uh, Chiha. So yeah, moving on, we have the um, the Willys Jeep and. And the uh, amphibious truck. I don't, I think they just pronounced that as duck. Um, so the Jeep, I just keep it in here just to save a little bit of space because these kits do take up um, like you know a quarter of my uh, of my table. So um, this kit, yeah, this is like about two, maybe th it's not three years, but it is about two years old. Um, I I haven't really been able to use this kit. I might put this on the mock, um, but I don't think they they don't. They didn't use that, sorry, um, as their landing craft for, uh, for, like, you know, the Marines. So, I don't know if I'll put that on. I, I might try build, building a, uh, LVT, uh, landing, uh, craft. But I don't really have, uh, that many pieces to spare on that stuff. All my tank pieces and all my, like, you know, my good, uh, wheels and stuff, those are all my Brickmania kits, I don't really normally focus on vehicles, I rely on Brickmania for that, well I used to anyway, 
So I do have mostly, um, like, you know, landscape and that stuff. So here, uh, next, next to that is, like, my second Brickmania kit I got. This is an old one. Um, this is a Stug 3. Um, it, this one, this is a re really fun kit. It has an interior. Well, it's not that much detail, but it's enough for, for a decent playability. Unlike the gun, which just, like, you know, just falls off easily. But whatever, it's a Brickmania kit. It's not really for playability, it's just for the looks. And trust me, they really, uh, it is older, but they did get the look of the Stug 3 on this. And the, uh, side armor does come off. It's like, uh, these pieces right here. So, moving on from that, we have my, like, artillery section. So we got the, uh, 75mm American Howitzer. It is missing, like, uh, one of those, uh, clip things on the back, if you know what I'm talking about. It's one of these. It's, it's somewhere around here. I, I saw that thing lying around. I didn't know what, what it was from, so I just put that in one of the bins, um, like, somewhere up here. Something like that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll find that, uh... So then over here we have the Type 92 uh, Japanese guns. I have two of them because I, because at the time I thought these were really cool and I still do think that they're cool. But they are a bit expensive. They were like $15 each, which isn't bad for a Brick Mania kit. Um, but like, you know, it's not many pieces. Like if Lego built this, um, selling this, they would sell it for like, you know, maybe $5, something like that. But I don't... Um, I don't hate it, like it is a custom box, like you know, custom instructions. People normally forget that about Lego kits, like you are buying the box and that stuff too, and it's easy for them to make the boxes. So the pieces actually are worth less. I mean, yeah, each piece is actually worth less than uh, ex than like you think they are in Lego kits. So yeah, um, we also got the Type 1 uh, artillery piece. Uh, yeah, I was trying to stock up on Japanese artillery because... At the time, I was preparing for my first Brick Fair um, back in, uh, it was about two years ago, yeah, for the first, for uh, Brick Fair New Jersey. That was the first one I uh, presented at. The first one I attended, though, I got this thing. The, uh, the CCKW, the deuce and a half truck. Uh, this is, this, um, I don't know if it's my all-time favorite because the Type 95 and the Chiha, I really do like those kits, but this is definitely in the top five. And I know I don't have many, but this thing, is just, it's just a really cool uh, kit. Um, it just looks like a truck. Uh, I like the detail they put on this to make it look like it's more of the, uh, like a tarp going over. And this is like an actual tarp, uh, like canvas. I think it was made for Brickmania by MMCB. I'm not completely sure, but I think it was. And also they have like, you know, shovels on the side giving more detail. Uh, then they also have the clips on here, uh, keeping the... Uh, Thing, like the tarp wrapped around the truck and it can come off and when you take it off it does look cool as well uh, there's a good deal uh, amount of space in there you can fit maybe uh, six figures possibly eight uh, with the thing on but it is hard to get your fingers in there so I'd suggest uh, taking that off if, if Rickmania ever releases it like taking the tarp off if you want to put figures in there, like for a stop motion or something. But it would be kind of crammed, the figures around in there. So, yeah. Um, guys, I think that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys like my uh, collection. I know it's big. It's not the biggest, though, but um, it is quite a lot of money that this stuff uh, is or was worth at the time that I got it. And um, I'm not bragging about that at all. It's just... It, I was, like, addicted to Brickmania because they were really, like, the ones that inspired me with building vehicles. Now on Flickr and on YouTube, there's a whole bunch of other people. Um, I've always watched people on YouTube, just mainly the mock and the houses and all that stuff. Not really vehicles, but now I'm starting to uh, get into that stuff more. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys like this video. Um, hopefully, that, that second update uh, will... I mean, no, the third update... Will be coming out by next Tuesday on my uh, Saipan mock. When it is done, I won't put update on it. I'll just put like a, I'll just put like the full name and World War Two and stuff in it. When I'm done with that uh, update series. And this mock is actually the biggest mock I've ever made. Um, normally I only do like two by two with the big gray base plates and that stuff. So guys, I hope you liked watching this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.